Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat on Michigan Business Network. Jeffrey Mosier sitting in for Chris Holman, and no, not out on the road. We're right here at our Capital Region International Airport studios in the Lansing metro area. This time around, we have our guest, Reggie Stevens, TSA Federal Security Director for Michigan. Reggie, welcome to the Michigan Business Beat. Good morning. How are you today? Doing quite well, thank you. And, well, we're pleased that right across the hallway from our studios here at the Capital Region International Airport, TSA is here today to provide tips for holiday travelers. So, you have that event that's coming up in a few minutes to help get the word out for those holiday travelers. Could you share some of that with us at this time? Absolutely. I think it's important to remember when we have peak travel season, whether it's Thanksgiving, this winter holiday season, spring or summer break, the first thing that you want to do is arrive early to the airport. You want to give yourself enough time. When you come to the airport, you're able to take care of parking, check in with the airline, and then go through security. Also with that preparation, you want to make sure you pack, pack smart making sure that you start with an empty bag so you know the contents that you're bringing with you. Just in case you might have forgot that old pocket knife or any other item, right? And you want to make sure that your items that you're carrying on board, especially those liquid gels and aerosols, are 311 compliant. So we're talking about 3.4 ounces and one quart size bag per passenger. So that's what 311 stands for when you hear it. And then you want to make sure you're listening to the instructions from our security officers. They work very hard every day to make sure that our mission is achieved. And so they'll give you specific instructions. In addition to that, you want to make sure that you have your IDs out and available. In most instances, your ID will work as your actual boarding pass. And then you'll notice with upgrades and new technology that we have com computed tomography x-rays. And so the key difference with those x-rays, if you have not traveled in a while, is that the majority of items do not need to be divested out of the carry-on bag, and every carry-on bag goes into an actual container through the x-ray. So your large electronics, laptops, iPads, they stay in, and the majority of those 311 liquids. Another tip that I would also like to share, since it is the holiday season, if you're traveling with any types of gifts, it's best to leave those gifts unwrapped. And if you do have them set up, you want to put them in an actual gift bag versus having it wrapped up. Because if we have to perform a secondary search, chances are we're going to have to unwrap that gift. And depending upon who you're traveling with, you know, they might find out what that actual gift is in advance. So we just really, really strongly urge everyone not to gift wrap any items that are coming through the security checkpoint. Excellent. Very thorough answer. Went into a lot for my next question, so I'll, I'll wrap it up. You're welcome to dive down on key tips. If there's anything else there that you think would be beneficial to the business audience or, uh, well, the holiday visitors. Well, this time of the year, we really don't see as much business travel as we would normally. So you, you see more of your infrequent traveler. You see families. And so with that being said, uh, reiterate, making sure that you pack smart. Make sure that you arrive early. And then also, if you need assistance, you can inquire on TSA.gov for TSA Cares. TSA Cares is a program that is developed to assist individuals or groups with the screening process. So if there are additional requirements, things that people need a little bit extra time with or they don't understand or they have difficulties with when they're going through the screening process, we have specially trained officers who can assist throughout the screening process. And once again, that's TSA Cares, and more information can be found on tsa.gov. Tremendous. And we, we covered PacSmart pretty well. So I think uh, at this point, the question would be, um, guidelines in the past were as, as high as arriving three hours early. What, what's the current in 2023? How soon should an individual show up at the airport? So for domestic travel, two hours. For international travel, three hours. And then I'd also like to make a plug uh, for the future, if you're interested, we do have an expedited screening program called TSA PreCheck. It's been around for quite some time. And to enroll, it is five years for $78. And so what that provides is you an opportunity to experience an expedited screening experience where you leave your light jackets and coats on and your shoes stay on. Additionally, we have wait time standards for TSA PreCheck of under 10 minutes 
compared to the standard screening goal of under 30 minutes. So um, it's definitely a value added program. And so if individuals are interested, you can also sign up through TSA.gov. Perfect. Well, it's the stressful holiday season. And to lower that stress, are there certain days and times projected to avoid and so that they aren't in there with the busiest travel? So both nationally and locally, TSA is looking at December 21st, December 29th, and actually New Year's Day as being the heaviest travel days of this period. If you are traveling during this time, I think it's important to, number one, identify your departure time and kind of stick to those arrival points that I discussed before. So if you're traveling domestically, two hours before your departure time and internationally, three hours before your departure time. Reggie, thank you so much for spending some time with the Michigan Business Beat today. Thank you, and have a great day. Tremendous. Once again, Reggie Stevens, TSA Federal Security Director for Michigan. And, well, TSA has an event at the Capital Region International Airport today to provide tips for holiday travelers. We'll be back with more on the Michigan Business Beat on Michigan Business Network.